Okay. <laughs> I think we're okay. Are we live? <laughs> Can anybody see what's going on and hear us? Uh, let me know, Ian, since it's on your end. Let's see if sound comes through. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Okay. Sweet. All right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> so, that was a bit of a false start there. <laughs> Which is funny, because it's a racy game you're doing. Yes. But welcome to Bumblecast Gaming Live. I'm Kyle Kraus, Kyle JCRB. And I am Ian Flynn, the Bumble King. And welcome to Frogzilla, or whatever it was you were playing. Frogzilla, yes. Frogzilla Horizon. <laughs> yes. Playing Forza Horizon 3, the arcade version of the Forza series. Because uh, that's just how we roll. So, right now I'm driving through random Australian backwoods. I'm trying to get to the uh, new DLC pack location. Because uh, I wanted to play that with you guys. Because I thought it would be fun. So you have to drive to an actual map location to activate the DLC? Yes. Interesting. Yes, indeed. It's a brand new pack. It just came out. So if you know anything about this game, you know... Oh, well, I just crashed into a new El Camino. That's okay. I can rewind. And then crash into it again. <laughs> Did it again. Oh, well. <laughs> You're going to see that in a few seconds, Ian, and it's going to be funny. Let me know if my sound gets kind of funky. I don't have the normal setup because uh, I'm a little laid up. My back is a mess. And oh! There, yeah, I caught up to you. <laughs> you caught up I, to him real fast. And then I rewind, and then it happens again. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm just driving my Ford Falcon here. It's fine. So we're in Australia, of course. That's why I'm driving on the wrong side of the road and the steering wheel's on the wrong side of the car. Or maybe it's on the right side of the car for you, wherever you are. <laughs> it's all a matter of perspective. Sure, sure. I mean, I don't have to drive on the wrong side of the road. Cops really aren't a factor in this game. <laughs> so, we... I probably should actually look at the map and figure out where I really need to go. <laughs> I'm just driving around aimlessly. There we go. All right, I'll just make a... There we go. It's a very pretty game. I've never really looked into the Forza series because I'm not much of a, a racing game type or realistic or pseudo-realistic. Quasi-realistic? Uh, the Forza Motorsport series is the more realistic one arguably um console uh real quote unquote real sim racers look at console games with scorn so i don't know what this is what is going on here why did things pop up on my screen i don't want in any of this i just want to play the game <laughs> Is that a menu pop up while I'm driving around? I just want to play. <laughs> Stupid modern games. This is the instant rewards tab. These I just want to play the game. Don't worry about this later. I'm streaming. Don't you realize what I'm doing here? Uh anyway. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I'll take the money. <laughs> if it means I get to drive, I'll take the money. <laughs> anyway, so that You're was really going to enjoy this game once we're done interrupting it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I have the music turned off so we don't get copyright flagged. Because <laughs> uh, that's a thing that can happen. <laughs> anyway, so. We're driving around these weird Australian backwoods type things. Not really backwoods, I don't know. It's like a tropical thing going on here. Yeah, it's really pretty. 
gratuitously breaking the speed limit and drifting everywhere. Oh, I just went through a speed trap at 108 miles an hour. That wasn't nearly fast enough. <laughs> My Ford Falcon's not that good. It's not good enough. Well, you say speed trap, or is there actual law enforcement in the game that will slow you down? No. Not that I've seen. <laughs> not that I've seen. No. They don't seem to care that I'm doing 140 miles an hour through the middle of the city. <laughs> and then crashing into things. <laughs> Crashing into things because I looked away for a second. <laughs> ay, 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 this game. This game's fun. It's definitely on the arcadey side. It does not. These cars do not handle like real life cars. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Going off road. Right. Going off bumpers, going off any remote train sense. There we go. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's cool. So, now we're going down onto the beach where we can get to the real thing I wanted to play today. Because this is fun and all. But, you know what? It's not Hot Wheels. We gotta play some Hot Wheels. Did you like Hot Wheels, Ian? Are you a Hot Wheels kid? See, I'm trying to remember if it was Hot Wheels or Matchbox that we had. Ah, they're both about the same. I think they're both owned by the same company now. <laughs> Which, back in the day, it was a fierce rivalry. I don't know. They might have always been owned by the same company. <laughs> anyway, Horizon <laughs> Hot Wheels. Here we go. This may take a little while to load. I don't know yet. Actually, I haven't even played this. I've watched video of it, but I have not played this yet. Nothing new for everybody, won't it? Indeed. So I wanted to play it the first time with you guys. Uh oh, these Hot Wheels cars are here. Oh God, look at your front bumper. <laughs> That's fine. I don't need it. Incredible, aren't they? I mean, sure they look the part, but just wait till we Dirt get them out there. Really nice Trust me, you're gonna see. Yeah, it's really pretty. The chat, chat. Okay, I got the chat open here, but no one's in there. Anybody in the chat? <laughs> Are you still the only one watching, Ian? Yeah. Darn. Oh. I need to move my mic up. I'm not coming through. You sound okay. For some reason, there's apparently a bug where this game has really long load times. Hmm. Like, several minutes. Like, is that a bug, or is that just it's poorly optimized? Uh, it should be perfectly optimized. Oh, here we go. Okay. Nope, nope. Actually not. <laughs> I thought it was loading. It just was fading out. Uh... I guess there's apparently a bug with uh, video card drivers causing it to take a while for it to load. So, here we go. I think. The music's playing. Hopefully it's not too loud. We get copyright censored. <laughs> so is this only Australia or can you load up various countries and continents? And whatnot? The core game takes place in Australia. Okay. But the Hot Wheels, the Hot Wheels segment takes place in a theme park called Thrilltopia. As it should. Yes. And you get uh, to drive on nice big Hot Wheels orange track. Marvelous. With loops and corkscrews and boosters <laughs> and jumps. Just like the real thing. Uh, I think my game is glitching out slightly. <laughs> the road disappeared for some reason. 
Uh, so far, I still have cutscene. Okay, I just loaded. The game just loaded. So. You'll probably see it in a second when the track some disappears for some reason. All right, here we go. I'm going in a loop. Going in a loop. I'm going in a loop. Whoa. I'm doing 180 miles an hour. <laughs> That was a heck of a jump. Whoa. Yeah, okay, where's the road? Yeah, oh, it kind of disappeared for a second there. I don't know what happened. That's really disoriented. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen, I don't think. I think it just kind of had this weird glitch. Oh, crap, there's a giant T-Rex. Giant mechanical dinosaurs. Oh, it's a mechanical dinosaur. That's lame. <laughs> I wanted a real it's dinosaur. It's not Jurassic Park. Huh? Thrilltopia, not Jurassic Park. I know. You think Thrilltopia would have a bigger budget than Jurassic Park? <laughs> they could get a real, real thing going on up in here. All right, here we go. We're going up the big mountain. Hot Wheels leading the way. <laughs> So why even bother with the rest of a racing or driving game when you could just do this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's like... been at least three million different versions of these types of tracks. Why not just recreate them? I know. It's like F-Zero, except with real cars. <laughs> and slightly less bloodthirsty drivers. Yeah, maybe. You can change that. But I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, boss, Horizon Hot Wheels. they only let me have one car. I'm going to go find the toy box. Yep, they only let me have one car to start. I was going to say, you can unlock, you can unlock others for sure, yeah? Yeah. I know there are at least four of the uh, fictional Hot Wheels cars. And uh, I think you can also use a bunch of real cars, too. So you're not just limited, but to start, they only give you one. This little buggy here. And here we go. Hey, Max. Here's how this is going to work. All right. Now I can do some real races and stuff. So I'll hook you up with faster and faster cars. We'll give out medals as qualifiers. Any questions? No? Nope. Then get out there. This area is a little bit smaller than the main game. Which is fine. I mean, the main game is you actually exploring Australia. This is go fast in loops. Yeah. You don't really need any distracting exploration. You go fast in loops. That's all you need. Okay, Hot Wheels so. campaign. Give okay. time to adjust to the... <clears throat> Conditions. Okay. Don't worry. Once you Don't sprint. Idea of slow, okay, now I can choose different cars. Fast. It's weird that it gave me the option to not. I guess we'll stick with the Hot Wheels car since this is the Hot Wheels DLC. Of course. So it's a robustly sized map. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to do. It looks like it. All right. Remember, keep your speed up for the loops and banks. And if your wheels catch on fire, that's a good thing. <laughs> so apparently, if your wheels catch on fire, that's good. <laughs> All right. I just think it's really, it's kind of neat how they got the orange track and everything. <laughs> I played with Hot Wheels a ton as a kid, so I still have a bunch of them. It was years and years ago 
but we had some family relations, like great great grandparents. I don't know. We like we barely ever saw them. Mm-hmm. But apparently, their thing was every four years, they would send my brother and I a really really nice Christmas present. Yeah. Even though we never saw them, I honestly can't remember their names. Sad to say. But one year we got this massive four-tiered box of vintage style either Hot Wheels or uh, Matchbox cars. Yeah. Like, they were probably meant as collector's items, <laughs> but we, we played with them until literally the wheels fell off. <laughs> well, that's what Hot Wheels are truly for. Well, yeah. Although there is a very large collector's market. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I'm falling off the... <laughs> fell off the track. Go faster, go faster, go faster. I fell off the track, Ian. No. I'm, I died. No. Except You're I'm... Still on the track. I'm fine now. I can't. I came back. I'm fine. Just... I just have Still good on my monitor. The glass is broken on the car now. But it's Hang fine. in there, Goose. Why does this car have eight gears? <laughs> <laughs> At least. I just play manual transmission. Ah. No, 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 there you go. There, now I fell off for you. <laughs> oh, man. Also, I'm in dead last. Doing really well. Kind of happens when you die during a race. Hey. That's mean. I'm not dead. I got better. See if this will work. Can I actually drift? Draft, not drift. Draft? Yeah. I've never heard such a thing. Uh, it's where you get behind a car, another car, and the uh, air vacuum coming off their car lets your car go faster. That's a real thing? Yes, sir. I thought it was just like a game mechanic. No, that's physics. Huh. That's why in racing, they're like cars in real life racing, cars follow each other like really closely because you can actually pick that up. Or you don't have to, um, or the car behind the car in front doesn't necessarily have to uh, hold the pedal down to cut through the air because the car in front of them is cutting through the air for them so they can go faster and have less friction. Woohoo, I finished an eight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I remember my driver's ed teacher telling me we could do that behind, like, semi-trucks because they display so much. I didn't realize you could do it car to car. Well, at high speeds, it works better for with car to car, but... Your driver's ed teacher told you to draft behind semi-trucks? <laughs> he said, yeah, get up close is great on gas mileage. You can just coast behind them. Yeah. He, said, Watch out, because when they break, you're dead. It, but, you it, know. It, it, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Man. The guy also apparently drove driver's ed military teaching. ambulances during Vietnam, so he was not really censored at all and he was not phased by driving <laughs> super no close no to he, he, he liked to tell us all the icky sure really grody stories oh boy because he said <laughs> you know i don't want you to pass i want you to live so he said he, i like he was nice he was cool so he doesn't want you to pass he wants you to live and yet he gives you advice like yeah follow behind trucks really super closely <laughs> <laughs> If they break, you're dead. Yay, you won 60,000 cur. Credits. Ah. It's the future. Everything's in credits. It's like, it's space bucks. It's My are just gnawing on that track. It's Forza bucks. Die. <laughs> That's what happens when you take one hand off the controller. Folks. Whoa. Okay, that is interesting. I don't know what I'm doing. I should probably ask, what are you playing this on? Uh, this is on my PC. Okay. 
This was an Xbox One exclusive, but uh, Microsoft decided they like money, so they released a lot of uh, first-party Xbox One games for PC. Let's see, what's here? What's going on here? What's this thing? Oh. Yeah, and... Let's do a bucket list. Wrong, I don't think the Xbox One has sold too terribly much in comparison to the other consoles. Uh, well, in comparison to the PS4, no. And the Switch. Apparently the Switch is just going gangbusters. Okay, yeah. I was just thinking the Wii U. <laughs> no. Oh, not man. The Wii U. This car is loud. All right. So I'm doing a uh, Hot Wheels bucket list challenge where I have to use this car to crash into something. Yeah. Sounds like my kind of thing. <laughs> what in the world is on the front of that car? I don't know. It's not a cow catcher. <laughs> Maybe it, it is. looks like it's going to scoop things up into the air intake. Yeah, it might be. That would be bad. I have to drive this Helix thing. Oh, well, it's Hot Wheels. They do all sorts of silly things. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm in a speed zone. Speed zone! Okay. Oh, 130 miles an hour. That's what they wanted me to do? I'm not sure. As goofy as it is, it does seem to have a very nice balance for the in-game physics where you seem to be sticking to the track but not in a way that feels unnatural. Right, right. It is... This is a more of an arcade feel than the mainline Forza games, but it still feels good. It's still fun. That's what they did. They tuned it for fun rather than for... more fun rather than realism. <laughs> Which is good. So, I'm just finding things to do. Let's find something else to do. Here, let's do another race. Let me go to that area. Here we go. Going into this random city here. Alright, and I found a race event. So. I'm gonna shoot off a tweet to prompt our regulars, see if anybody will come in. Alrighty. Let's get a different car going. I'm gonna find a different car. Uh, hmm. See what kind of car I want. Oh, nah. I don't have a DeLorean in this game, sadly. Do I want to do a Delta? Maybe I want to do a Delta. Or a Quattro. It'd be fun if they did have a DeLorean and then when you get it up to 88 miles per hour, it starts sparking and shooting neon and glowing and all that. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Ah, yes. Let's do good old Sierra Cosworth. I do like how this game has a lot of Australian cars, which makes sense. It takes place in Australia. But it's kind of rare for racing games to put much focus on Australian uh, cars. So, eh, let's drive the Junker version. That's fun. How much did they shell out to get the actual car brands in here? Oh, those, uh, oh, the car brands, like the manufacturers and stuff? Yeah, Ford and all them. Probably not that much, because, uh, well, I mean, they shelled out a pretty decent chunk, I'm sure, but 
Probably not that much because it's free uh, advertising for your company. Yeah, I guess. All right, other way around, how much do people have to shell out so that they can be included <laughs> in the game? That, yeah, that could happen too. I don't think it's happened very much. Um, I think I read a story somewhere with a, an interview with the uh, people who currently own the uh, DeLorean company, the DeLorean Motor Company. And uh, I guess the people, Sony, approached them to uh, include the DeLorean in Gran Turismo. And I think they offered them a dollar. Yeah. Or maybe it was a hundred dollars or something. Some really freaking paltry tiny amount to have the DeLorean in the game. To license the DeLorean for the game. And the DeLorean people were like, uh, no. <laughs> a little insulting. Just a tad. It's like, holy crap. Then I think they came back a few years later and actually worked out a proper deal. But yeah, it was pretty, uh... Hearing that, I was like, oh man, that's... <laughs> That's harsh. That's rough. I think they just assumed, oh, it's Gran Turismo. Everybody wants to be in Gran Turismo. Yeah, and they're a little, pride like, always comes before the fall. Yep, and they're like a little, it's a, you know, it's a little tiny car company. They didn't, they're not even the original DeLorean Motor Company. Ah, yeah. Oh, but DeLoreans have been in previous Forza games, so maybe they'll add they'll add it as a uh, DLC car or something in the future. <laughs> we have to go. We have to go to the future to find out, though. We need the DeLorean to do that. Dang it! <laughs> Man, this game has fire we wheels, wheels that catch on fire and everything with it. Hot Wheels stuff, and we can't have a DeLorean, so we can't have the wheels catch on fire like they do in the <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> Maybe one day. Uh, we can only dream. Now, when you're hitting those ramps and you're airborne, can you steer in the air at all, or is it just no? <laughs> <laughs> that's realistic. Because I see that I see that wheel turning, and it's like, is that doing anything? That's realistic. I don't know. I just like to play with the wheel. It's fun. I'm not using my wheel setup for this game, though. I'm just using a controller. I could use my wheel, but... I don't feel like digging it out and setting it all up and... <laughs> all that. Alright. Here we go. I hit a wall, Ian. Right now, you're kissing somebody's back bumper. That's fine. And over the booster. I really gotta remember to shift. <laughs> it's a real problem. <laughs> I could turn on automatic transmission. But I don't wanna. There's that wall. Yeah, I smacked into it a little bit. I gotta remember to shift down. <laughs> Driving a car is hard. Whee! Through the fire ring. And it's only cars, right? There's no motorcycles or any other style of vehicle. Uh, well, the trucks count as another style of vehicle. <laughs> What kind of trucks? Uh, there's some standard, you know, regular road-going trucks. There's, I think there's at least one monster truck. Um, and there are off-road buggies and off-road, um, off-road racing trucks. And there's race cars, street cars, there's little tiny cars, there's big cars. There's old cars, there's new cars. Pretty much every car imaginable, unless it's the DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> I'd count Monster Truck as something a little different. And then there's Hot Wheels cars, which could border on the definition of car sometimes. <laughs> I 
Yay, I won this time. <laughs> a little bit better. I didn't Spoiler fall off, alert. I didn't fall off the track. <laughs> oh, man. It's kind of funny how the... Uh, the um, racer... The AI racers take the names of your uh, friends list. Eh. Well, some of them. Other ones, I don't even know who they are. I think they're just randomly generated names, but some of them are actually real people who've played. Apparently, they've played the game before. That was amazing, Bob. Maybe it calls it off of folks who've played online at some point. Yeah, I think your friend, your friends who have played online, it seems like. All right. Time to take it up to A class, which means bigger tracks, more loops, more G's, which means hold on to your hair, boss. Okay, we're going up to A class tracks, which are better. They're bigger. So we're going to try that. I'm going to try one and see what happens. Half pipe speedway. Let's go there. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Going to half pipe. Okay. Because how could that possibly go wrong? Uh, I, no, it's fine. It's fine. There's no problem. I don't. I don't. I don't see what the issue is. Not yet, because you haven't fallen out. <laughs> how does the stream look, by the way, Ian? Is, is the well, it seems to be coming through just fine. Is the quality all right? It looks shiny and chrome to me. Okay, good. I was just wondering, since I uh, upped the bitrate and everything since the last time I did this. Now, any hiccups, I think, are just the Wi-Fi on my end. Or the game. <laughs> game doesn't hiccup much, but... You have arrived at your destination. All right, here we go. Half Pipe Speedway. So now I need a better car. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, huh. Let's go with these. Do you have any control over the time of day, or does it just cycle independently? It cycles automatically. Okay. All right. So I'm up upgrading this uh, classic <laughs> Dodge. Or, no, Chrysler. Sorry. What, was it? what, was, what did it say? Chrysler Charger Valiant? Did I read that right? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot what I chose. It's an old muscle car. Yeah. According to the delay on the stream, it's a Chrysler Valiant. Chrysler Valiant Charger. And here we go. Get in the half pipe, wherever the half pipe is. Up we go here. It's his little... Huh? Go ahead. I, I see that large loop of track looming <laughs> out of the mountain. And it's like... That's a wee bit ominous with the stormy skies. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Now we're getting into some half-pipe action. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh... I kind of lost control there for a second. <laughs> Let's see, you're, you're entering into the blue here. Now I'm in half pipe. Low guardrails, bouncing off bumpers. Kyle! <laughs> why are you skirting on the edge of the track? Why not? <laughs> That's how you go fast. 
You gotta take the shortest. Pass off the edge. Gotta, that's just the shortest route. All right, here's the half pipe. Here you come. Have, yeah, you'll see me slide. Yeah, whoa, no. That side. is sideways. Yeah. Point the car in the way you want to go. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I mean, kind of wish we didn't have a delay, but it's funnier. <laughs> yeah. I'd say we could pre-record, but that would kind of defeat the purpose of a live stream. Well, also, you'd still be delayed because I still have to stream it to you. Quiet, you. <laughs> the only way to fix it is for us to be in the same place, so patrons help us out. <laughs> That or I, am... I just record after the fact and pretend oh. you know, act along with it. Oh man, that's <laughs> oh. So I, I maybe I just play the game for an hour and then yeah, like and then okay, radio drama and over. then and then we'll both play it at the same time and just talk over it. <laughs> we'll just fake it. Be See free. that that would work just fine if we were doing one of those you know long form. God, Kyle! What? What did I do this yeah. time? <laughs> Never mind. Was I on the and edge of the track? I don't even remember. I don't even remember what I was doing. Piece. What was I doing? <laughs> you were barely staying on the track. Yeah, I was fine. There was yeah, no uh, problem. Yeah, uh, I'm glad I'm lying down. <laughs> were you scared? Just a little bit. Man, if I had like, if, if I were watching this on a VR headset, I would probably re wrench my back. <laughs> oh no! That would be awesome, actually. This game in VR. Oh sure. That would be, that would be cool. I saw somebody who managed to, I think they were using the dolphin emulator or something, to oh, more yeah. or less hack one of the Mario Karts into VR, and holy. Crap. 150cc looks like you were just going like crazy. <laughs> so do that and put it into Mario Kart 8 on 200cc. I don't know if your eyes can process that fast. I, I really don't like 200cc Mario Kart, to be honest. Why not? I really don't. It's too Get it on one of those downhill tracks and just floor it's, it. It's too fast. The, the no tracks, such thing. The tracks are not designed for that speed. That's why it's fun. Especially the old tracks from the the, 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 the retro tracks. No, it's not fun. You're just spending all the time smashing into the walls and everybody's that is fun. And the AI beats you because the AI can drive perfectly because they're a computer. Well, you learn. I don't want to learn. That's how we have to defeat the machines and stave off the mechanical apocalypse. I welcome my robot overlords. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't have time to deal with robot uprisings right now. If they want to take over, that's fine. As long as they leave me I'm alone. I'm telling you, you play the F-Zero tracks on 200cc. As long as they leave me alone. The, t the only tracks that are designed for 200cc are the F-Zero tracks. Those are pure joy. <laughs> I do. The F Zero tracks are the best tracks in the game. Why yeah. haven't they brought back Banshee Boardwalk? Banshee Boardwalk? Mario Kart oh, for Mario Kart 64? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's not my favorite track. <laughs> Is it yours? Only because I managed to figure out the best route to troll everybody else. They would always be so worried about the various hazards, and I'm kind of steering into them so that they get thrown off going, Oh, wait, does it not queue here? No, what are you trying to get to the pass? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. What other tracks haven't they put in Mario Kart? I like oh, Choco yeah. Man back then. From oh, Mario Kart 64? I thought they did that. Didn't they do that one again? Uh, maybe, maybe not. No, I don't. Okay, I don't think. No, I don't think they have. 
But they brought back TikTok Clock, and that was TikTok that Clock was is a good one. An excellent track. Yes. I kind of like the. Um... There's one version of. Um... Is it Mario Circuit? I think where they did a the Super Nintendo track, but like. Part of it is an anti-grav thing where you go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's still the flat track, but they change it up a bit, so it's not flat. <laughs> right. Which I thought was pretty creative. And then the Animal Crossing track is just charming. It's all get out. Yeah, it's kind of cute. The Zelda track's pretty neat. It's neat, but for all the hype I had for it, it felt kind of tame, I guess. It, it is. End. It really is. They, they didn't seem to want to get too crazy with some of the guest character tracks for whatever reason. Although I guess this brings up a question as we are betraying Forza and talking about the competition. Well, that's fine. It's, car it's all cars. It's all good. Um... Now, with the introduction of the guest characters, would you want to see more Nintendo characters in a Mario Kart game? Or would you prefer to they make a whole separate Nintendo Kart and keep Mario Kart just basically Mario characters? I don't know. I don't feel like I'm a purist. Well, no, I don't know. Flipping. Yeah, it was, it's not my car. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a, really a purist in that sense, I guess. So I don't mind seeing guest characters. I think it's pretty neat. I mean, they've just about mined the entire Mario series for characters at this point. So why not? <laughs> I don't know. Part of, part of me feels like Mario Kart should be Mario, and then I'm all for Super Smash Racers. Oh, sure. you know, maybe do something that switches up the Mario Kart formula a little bit so that it stands out, but I don't know. Guest characters are cool and all, but I kind of feel like it's Mario Kart, you know? You got enough characters that, and uh, locations that you can keep it a Mario game. Yeah, maybe. I guess, you know, you got like Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, which it says Sonic on it, and most, like... Well, not most of the characters, but a good portion of the roster is mostly just Sonic characters. Right. But there's also characters from other franchises. So, I don't know. It kind of makes me think of that sort of thing, I suppose. But, yeah, I don't know. Because I don't... I feel like a game is kind of a marketing thing. Like, if you just did, like, a Nintendo Racers game or Nintendo Kart or something, like, it wouldn't sell as well. Oh, come now. I, Smash Brothers works on pure nostalgia and mascot pandering. You put it in, you know, a kart racer, hey, it'll sell. Yeah, it probably would, but I, I don't know. I'm just... The thoughts I'm having of, like, well... I don't know. I'm just thinking Nintendo style. <laughs> I'm trying to think like Nintendo. It's hard to think like Nintendo, though. Because you never know what they're thinking. Oh, you're going up the mountain now, aren't you? Ah, sideways. Sideways. Yeah, yeah I kind of hit the wall there a little bit. Ah, why, why did they slow? Why, the, the person who I just passed slowed down right before they hit the speed booster. It's like, you're hitting the speed booster. Why are you slowing down? You gotta go fast. You don't wanna go too fast. No, you wanna go more fast. <laughs> I won, by the way. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just driving around. I'm just having fun. I like these. Oh, vertigo. I like these Hot Wheels tracks. Barf. It's F Zero. Barf. It's all this F Zero goodness. Ah. Maybe I'll try a different car. Now, we're talking about mascot racers we want. I want a proper Sonic R2, daggummit. <laughs> All-Star Racers is great. 
the Rider series has its pluses and minuses. <laughs> but get the cars out of the way. These characters are known for hoofing it. Get them on the road. Well, I have no, ideas. They're known I know for, how to make it work. They're known for hoofing it unless they're Amy. Eh, I figure she's earned the ability to... <laughs> earned, earned the ability to actually proper. be out of a car now. <laughs> yep, maybe she's got the lowest top speed, but... <laughs> Okay. There's ways to balance it out. So let's look up somewhere to go. We can actually do something. Um, hmm. On a race or a bucket list. Okay, let's do that. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh boy. This could be interesting. I'm right next to a speed booster and I'm trying to reverse away from it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was worried I was going to get stuck on the speed booster and it was going to launch me in reverse somewhere. <laughs> that would be funny, but uh, not what I want to do. I'm trying to get to where I want to go. Oh, sorry, I broke the windshield again, but it's fine. You don't need to see, do you? Got all these, all these loops and stuff in the distance. And in all honesty, from what I've seen so far, the loops haven't really thrown me for a loop. It's when you're driving sideways <laughs> that's really messing with me. What you don't like dr drifting? <laughs> Okay. Or when you're hitting, like, the very, very edge of those very <laughs> narrow turns. And you can't see the road because you're right on the edge! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Alright, now I get to drive in the Hyperloop with a Mini Cooper. This is going to be interesting. Oh, this car sounds Your reassurance is that it's fine just makes it feel like... We're in the Millennium Falcon, you're Han, and I'm Chewie over here going, <laughs> It's fine! It's fine! <laughs> it's fine! It's fine! It's fine! As everything's blowing up around them. <laughs> the entire ship is coming apart. Alright, we got, we got the music going on here. <laughs> yeah. We have, uh... Also, Spike... Is that a thirst of playing right now? <laughs> Luckily, that's a uh, public domain song. <laughs> I have to drive real fast. In a Mini Cooper. I don't know why a Mini Cooper, but sure. Well, why not? At this rate. Well, because it's a Mini Cooper. And it tops out at 160 miles an hour. Okay, 170. <laughs> I have to jump. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I'm headed for a Jumped. long road trip in a couple weeks, and this is just giving me kind of forward flashbacks. I don't know. <laughs> We're hitting the roads through the Appalachians, and it's going to be like, I could do this Kyle way. No, <laughs> don't do it Kyle way. <laughs> I don't drive this way in real life. I know, that I That you know of. <laughs> Not that I've seen, no. No. <laughs> of course, the last time I rode with you, since I wasn't driving, I fell fast asleep the minute the motor turned on. Yeah. So I guess I don't really know how you drive. Well, I didn't wake you up, so you must be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I must be Otherwise, okay. Otherwise, this is the weirdest purgatory I've been you'll in have, for a while. You'll have to ask Aaliyah, because she's the one who would know how I drive. Uh, 
Uh, uh, you want to do uh, one more objective, and we'll call it a night? Yeah, go ahead and do one more race. I guess we're coming up to the hour mark here. Huh? Alrighty. Here we go. We got one last race. It's a big one. We got a big track. So let's see what we got here. All right, now I get to choose a different car, a B-class car. Ah, we'll go with the Falcon that I started out the stream in. We'll end it. We'll, we'll go around in the same car that I started with. We've come full circle, as it were. Mm-hmm. Especially since it's a racing game. On track game. for a <laughs> symbolic racing game. Especially since it's a racing game and you go around and do laps and stuff. Yes, that, that was the joke I was attempting. Okay, okay. Silly question. Do you control the windshield wipers or do they turn on when there's rain? Now they're automatic. It's not they should be manual <laughs> so you can add the challenge if you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like American Truck Simulator where you gotta do everything yourself. You can't even turn <laughs> the lights on and off. <laughs> they don't even let you do that. They just make you shift. Although, you can turn that off, too. But I'm okay with shifting, so it's all, it's all good. Oof, oof. I'm getting a little... pushy. And it sounds like the radio got turned back on, maybe. I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't know why music's playing. <laughs> Luckily, it's quiet. Hopefully it's... Hopefully it's quiet enough. That almost looked like the Mach 5 at a speed racer back there. Maybe. Let me see. Let's look behind me. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I think you've looked in the dust. I probably have. I don't... I think it was very similar, but I think it was a real car. Oh, and oh. the AI just fell off the track. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Yeah. Hey, it wasn't me, so that's fine. <laughs> Ultimate clean racing. Oh man, keep hitting walls. It's a real problem. The walls keep getting in my way. Well, if there weren't walls to hit, there would be ocean to dive into. That's ah, fine. It's like Rainbow Road. <laughs> Instead of chain shops, we've got Tyrannosaurs. <laughs> Although Mario Kart 64 Rainbow Road has walls all the way around, which was like, when I was a kid, was like, what? Why has Rainbow, Ro Rainbow Road got walls? Rainbow Road didn't have walls. <laughs> The Super Nintendo version had no walls. <laughs> but uh, they put walls in on 64 for whatever reason. Yeah, you could still jump over the one that mattered, though. True. And you can still jump off the super tall jump at the beginning. Super tall mountain at the beginning and uh, skip half the track by cheating. Exactly. Never that, not, a, not that I ever did that or anything. I remember I was racing against a friend who couldn't quite get the angle right. <laughs> and then right as I had pretty much finished the lap, he managed to get it up and, you know, made up for all the time he wasted jumping off into the abyss. <laughs> nice. I've also never finished a race in Wario Stadium in eight seconds. <laughs> That's never happened. <laughs> okay, the sun beaming through the track there is really pretty. Yeah, the sun effects are nice, except when they're blinding. <laughs> All right, uh, this is the last race. This is our final race for the day, so cool. We got right in front of this uh, animatronic dinosaur. <laughs> You're still finishing up on the screen here. That's cool. There you are. Hey, boy. I did Who's it. Who's your good monster? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right. That was fun. It's been Bumblecast Gaming Live for the evening. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next Friday at 10. And uh, have a good night, everybody. We'll see you later. Hey, man, I got a lot of money. Let's Yay! See. Yay! I'm 400, still streaming. thousand cur. We're still streaming. <laughs> I'm just getting through this here. <laughs> anyway, uh, bye, guys. See you next time. <laughs>